today we're going to look at the backwards direction of a number is divisible by 3 if and only if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. To do that, we're going to let n be an integer and suppose that the sum of its digits is divisible by 3. Now what we can do is we can write n as this, uh, these digits am, am minus 1, all the way down to a0, and then we know by assumption that am plus am minus 1 plus all the way down to a0 is equal to 3 times an integer k. Now what we're going to do is we're going to write n as am times 10 to the m plus am minus 1 times 10 to the m minus 1 plus all the way down to a0 times 10 to the 0, which is just 1. For example, 123 is 1 times 10 squared plus 2 times 10, plus 3 times 10 to the 0. Uh, 5,431 is 5 times 10 cubed, plus 4 times 10 squared, plus 3 times 10, plus 1 times 10 to the 0. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at n divided by 3. That happens to be equal to our am times 10 to the m's all over 3. And then we're going to use the trick that we did in the last video, where we look at 10 to the m over 3. We realize that 10 to the m is 1 with m zeros behind it, which is equal to m nines plus 1. So when we divide m nines plus 1 by 3, we get some number, some integer, plus a third, because 3 goes into the m nines. So we can break up our am times, times 10 to the m's to be am times 10 to the m over 3 plus am minus 1 times 10 to the m minus 1 over 3 all the way down to a0 over 3. Then the 3's, they each go into the 10 to the m's some integer plus a third times. So I can rewrite this as am times km plus a third times a m minus 1 times k, m minus 1 plus a third, all the way down to a naught times a k naught plus a third, where each one of the k m's is an integer. And then I can distribute in the a m's. So I get a m times k m plus a m over 3 plus a m minus 1 times k m minus 1 plus a m minus 1 over 3, all the way down to an a naught over 3. Then I can group all the am km's together, and then I can group all the am's over 3 together, and then the am km's, those are an integer plus, or an integer times an integer plus integer times an integer all the way down to an integer times an integer, which just happens to be an integer, so I'll rewrite that as r. And then since all the am's are divisible or over three, I can factor out a, th a third from all of them. So I get one third times am plus am minus one all the way down to a naught. And by our assumption, that equals three times k. So now I can rewrite everything as r plus one third times three k, which just equals r plus k, which then we can look at our n over three our n divided by 3 is equal to r plus k, which implies that n equals 3 times r plus k. r plus k are both integers, which this implies that n is divisible by 3, since n equals 3 times an integer. Thus, we have shown that if the sum of a number's digits is divisible by 3, the original number is divisible by 3.